This is KMTV 3 News Now Weekend. Husker fans unite tonight at Memorial Stadium. It's that time of year when diehard Huskers get an entire day dedicated to their fanship. Husker Football Fan Day is starting as we speak in downtown Lincoln. This is your chance to meet the players, coaches, and staff before the first practice starts Sunday morning. Reporter Andrea Braswell is live at Memorial Stadium with fan reaction. Yes, guys, people have been waiting out here all day. Some people have been here since the morning just waiting to get first dibs on the event that's happening today. We spoke with fans who say they have been coming to Fan Day for 20 years. Husker fans tell me there's a lot to look forward to this season, and they're excited for what's to come. Some people brought footballs, helmets, and old jerseys for people to sign. There's also a new video board people say they're looking forward to seeing once the doors open. Now later we'll have more from this event and hopefully some Huskers just make sure you stay tuned. I'm live in Lincoln, Andrea Braswell, 3 News Now. It's the end of baseball season for a group called PACE or Police, at Police Athletics for Community Engagement. The program gets kids involved with sports with volunteers from the Omaha Police Department. 3 News Now reporter Jessica Ritchie has more on their final tournament of 2017. These kids come up to practice, they come up to games, and committed to the program all summer. So we just want to celebrate that for them and their families. It's the final game of the season for the baseball teams of Pace Omaha. Throughout the season, the relationships that they build with the police officers is what we want because these are the police officers that they're going to see in their neighborhoods. What do you think about the police officers? Nice. Nice. They're nice. Now in its third year, the PACE program has grown to 20 baseball teams with over 300 kids. Go Virginia Mustangs! All provided free of charge with volunteers from OPD, Sarpy County Sheriff and more. I keep coming back because uh, it just gives me a full warm heart to be a part of these kids' lives and to coach them every day, and we're learning about discipline and teamwork. Mayor Stothert was on hand to pass out a hearty meal for the players. These kids see that they're, we're there for them, that the community's there for them. Kids who wouldn't otherwise get the chance have spent this year learning to be part of a team. I've been playing for three years now. Um, I get to meet new people and I get to play a lot with everybody. And have learned plenty of life lessons as well. He respects more his coaches, everybody now. He's not as like he used to. You just see their team come together as a family. You see their uh, the players become positive. Jessica Ritchie, 3 News Now. The final game was won by the Pace Jaguars of North Omaha, 8-4. to four. The end of year celebration for Pace's soccer teams will be next Saturday. That's August 6th. Teams from more than a dozen countries have converged in Omaha this evening for a soccer extravaganza. It's the opening ceremony for Omaha International League's tournament. Teams from Cuba, Vietnam, Nigeria, Brazil, Mexico and more are over at Jerry Park's Youth Football Complex on 16th and Cornish. This is the fourth year of the event in conjunction with Omaha's PACE program. It's quite an educational experience for everyone because um, you know, as a kid, you grow up, you wanted to play for your country someday, but now you have a chance to put on a shirt representing your country, and there's a level of pride that comes with it. The tournament runs through August 21st. Touted as one of the nation's top collegiate soccer venues, Morrison Stadium at Creighton University is set for a big upgrade. The improvements include new coaching and staff offices and accommodations for play during colder months. Construction will start immediately following the 2017 Jays soccer season. All funding will come from private donations. The university is hoping to raise about a half a million dollars. Now, your weather alert first forecast. Whether it's baseball, soccer, uh, summer festivals, beautiful weather out there. We can't ask for better. Low humidities, temperatures around 84 degrees, a few clouds mixing with sunshine across the metro area, and the winds also are fairly light, making for a very comfortable day. Radar and satellite showing 
Well, very little in terms of precipitation. In fact, not at all. We do have a few scattered clouds around the area that will continue at least part of the evening. We expect to see some clearing taking place later on tonight. We go down to street level to your neighborhood. 81 at Lakeshore, 82 out in Elkhorn. Bennington still at 85 degrees. Field Club at 84 and 82 in Willow Springs. We've got a mild weather forecast for you and we'll let you know if there's any rain chances. All upcoming in the weather segment in just a few minutes. What's been a disappointing summer for a group of orphans in the Dominican Republic is turning around as they prepare to touch down on U.S. soil. Thanks to a miracle and some expedited paperwork, those children will be landing today at Epley Airfield. The host family say they've been waiting for this for a while. I had really kind of thought about it and had been praying on and off about it. After weeks of questions, a group of orphans from the Dominican Republic will finally arrive at Epley Airfield tonight. Uh, it was a stunning answer from God to a lot of prayer. The children's trip has been stalled because of paperwork. Here's video from inside their orphanage. Workers at Grace Baptist Church have been trying to bring the group to the United States. The children just received their visas yesterday, and now host families say they're getting ready for their new guests. The thing I'm most looking forward to is giving my own children a deeper appreciation for how much they have to be grateful for. Um, I think as Americans, and this isn't to you know make everybody feel bad, but we take a lot for granted. We have a lot that we enjoy. I have two girls, uh, 12 and 14, so it's... It'll be a full, fun household, I'm sure. The children will get to experience many things Omaha while stateside, including a free trip to the zoo. So it's very exciting. And the children will arrive at Epley tonight at 1030. We will be there for the arrival and bring you more coverage on this heartwarming story. You won't want to miss it tomorrow on 3 News Now Sunday. Travel west to the Nebraska Sand Hills and you'll find a beautiful landscape. Compared to cities, it's relatively untouched, and that's why a type of turtle is, is able to thrive. Biologists estimate there are 100,000 blanding turtles in the Sand Hills, more than there are anywhere else combined. One reason? Fewer roads. We spoke with Omaha World Herald reporter Blake Ursh about other efforts to protect the endangered turtle, including unique fencing. The turtles, instead of um, just crossing the road, will sort of get funneled, uh, they'll encounter this fence and keep going, and they'll get funneled into these little culverts where they can um, swim under the road instead of crossing it so they don't get smashed. In tomorrow morning's paper, find out how that solution is working and why biologists are eager to, eager to help the Blanding's turtle. Japan is imposing a tariff of 50% on American beef export imports. That's an increase of almost 12%. The move has Governor Pete Ricketts concerned. Nebraska exports more than $300 million worth of beef products to Japan. In fact, Japan is Nebraska's top beef export market. Governor Ricketts says this will hit the state hard. That's going to impact our ability to sell beef into Japan. Our beef sales were actually up 36 percent from 2015 to 2016. So we want to continue to build that momentum. We don't want the consumers in Japan to, to lose sight of the fact that we got the best beef in the world. Governor Ricketts will be hosting a trade mission to Japan in September, and he says this issue will be at the top of the list. Health care and issues concerning the state will be coming up when a Nebraska congressman holds a series of town hall meetings early next week. Congressman Jeff Fortenberry will begin the first of seven town halls at the Bellevue Public Schools Welcome Center around noon Monday. The other town halls include two in Lincoln on Monday, one's in Fremont and West Point Tuesday, and Columbus and Norfolk Wednesday. You can find times and locations on our website at 3newsnow.com. Crowds this weekend are turning out to the Gretna Days celebrations. The highlight of today is, oh, let's listen to the band. <laughs> the highlight of today is the annual Gretna Days parade with the theme, the good life, the great life, hashtag Gretna life, in celebration of Nebraska's 150th anniversary. It's part of a packed weekend, including the Gretna Days men's softball tournament, a craft show, the Gretna Days carnival, and even a kid's pedal tractor pull. It was good, and I really liked it, um, the cars that were going in the circle, and I, and I loved watching that every year. 
The festival wraps up tomorrow with the Gretna Days car show, a community picnic and ice cream social, along with the annual Gretna Days inner tube races at the city pool. And Gretna Days isn't the only fun event going on this Saturday. We'll take you over to the Benson Days Parade and show you the sights and sounds. And with all the... Oh, excuse me. And in today's health headlines, we look at the impact of alcohol on diabetes. Jump at the gun here a little bit. So let's take a look at the radar satellite. It's a bit active out to the west of us, and I'll let you know how that will impact, and impact the metro area with all the celebrations going on. We'll check that out right after the break. Stay with us. You're watching KMTV 3 News Now with Megan Hahn, Weather Alert Team meteorologist John Walsh, and sports with Ben Stevens. This is KMTV 3 News Now Weekend. Weather is my life and I've been forecasting for decades. I know how important it is and that's why I love what I do. I go out and talk to area schools. Kids have asked me, have I seen a tornado? Yes, I have. My husband and I met covering weather. We're a weather family. We all lead busy lives, work life, family life. But I've got the same thing. Wherever I am, everybody's always asking, what is the weather like? And, and I love it. I love keeping you connected to the weather. This month, let's celebrate America during the Renewal by Anderson Red, White & View sale. Take $200 off every beautifully made for you window, plus 50% off our signature service installation, giving you the perfect view to last a lifetime. That's $200 off each window, plus 50% off installation on the name you can trust in windows. Renewal by Anderson. Now that's what I call a Red, White & View sale. The better way to a better window. Renewal by Forecast calls for bouts of hail. Better get those cars indoors. Oh, come on! Uh-oh. Better get Mako. Come into Mako and take advantage of our nationwide warranty and quick turnaround. Mako, America's body shop. Got a car question? Submit it at omahamorningblend.com and look for the answer every other Monday with the experts from Certified Transmission. I give up. Who wants ice cream? Me. The 2017 Highlander with Toyota Safety Sense at no extra cost. Safety for everyone. Tested, trusted Toyota. Lease a new 2017 Highlander for $279 per month. Plus, every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our no cost maintenance plan. Toyota, let's go places. Get the school supplies you need at the lowest prices guaranteed. Check out the A-plus list at Shopco, your back-to-school headquarters. 70-count notebooks, 19 cents each. 50% off licensed backpacks and two-pocket folders, 17 cents. Get 24-count Crayola crayons, only 50 cents. And Packard Bell notebook computers, just $199.99. Shopco's your back-to-school headquarters for everything on your list. Shop in-store and online at shopco.com. Shopco, the stuff that counts. Missouri Valley, thanks for watching KMTV3. North Omaha, thanks for watching KMTV3. Benson is celebrating the neighborhood's 130th anniversary this weekend. The Benson Days Festival is showcasing the neighborhood's culture with a parade, pancake breakfast, street festival, and more. Benson was founded in 1887 and was annexed into Omaha in 1917. And John, you know, it was a pretty good Saturday to be out there taking in Gretna Days and Benson Days and all the fun there. Well, the nice thing about it is you don't have that uh, humidity that yeah. we saw mm -hmm. last week. So, yeah, we've got some fairly decent weather for all the celebrations ongoing this time of year. I love those small town celebrations, too. They're always a lot fun. of fun. Mm -hmm. And those will be uh, occurring through tomorrow. So let's get to the forecast and I'll show you what tomorrow. Whoa, what is that? Don't panic. It's not. Uh, it's not going to be snowing out of weather. Winter par at uh, Warner Park, excuse me. It's Christmas in July celebration out there tonight. They're actually playing baseball, Fresno, and they're playing against Fresno. And uh, and quite frankly, it's going to be a beautiful night for baseball. But uh, there's going to be fireworks, Mannheim steamroller, and just a uh, sort of a pre-Christmas feel out at uh, Warner Park tonight. So if you want to take that in, it's going to be 82 to start start out the game with the first pitch and uh, dropping to about 73, about 10 o'clock. I think if my basic meteorology serves correct, I think that's a little bit too warm for any snow to melt. So I think it'll be good.
As far as the uh, downtown area, we're looking at a few clouds here and there. 84 degrees right now, very comfortable. 62 degrees the dew point. We have a southeast winds at about 9 miles per hour. And right now we take a look at temperatures around the region. Upper 70s at Denison and Carroll. 79 degrees at Columbus. Lower 80s over most locations. Very pleasant. Our high in the metro here was 85. And we're going to be seeing uh, evening temperatures falling through the uh, lower 80s into the lower 70s by around 11 o'clock. And then beyond that, we'll drop into the 60s and then pretty much level off in the lower 60s for morning temperatures. Very mild across much of the central plains. Comfortable weather out there. Unbelievable for late July. Now tomorrow, there's some heat building uh, to the northwest of us. Billings, Haver, Montana over toward, well, Bismarck really is not even that bad. Most of it's up in Montana. Very mild conditions here. We'll see comparable temperatures to what we saw today. And we'll fast forward through, uh, well, through uh, the radar, actually, for Monday is what we were headed for, and uh, pretty much the same story heading into the beginning part of next week. Now, radar not showing much. We've got a few scattered clouds out there. Off to the west of us, there is some activity in the panhandle up toward the Black Hills region into the central sections of South Dakota. There's a trough of low pressure extending out there, but for our neck of the woods from Omaha back towards central Nebraska, sprawling area of high pressure in command of our weather. So let's look. Uh, a little bit higher up in the atmosphere. And again, there's high pressure to the south of us. And that clockwise flow, you can see it there with the clouds and the motion of the precipitation. There may be a little bit of activity in northeast Nebraska and maybe some of our western counties late tonight into tomorrow. As you can see on our short-term radar right here, but it doesn't look like that's going to be making it this far east into the metro area. Same story goes for early Monday, but again, uh, we're too far east, and uh, even, even with that, counties to the west, just a slight chance for some precipitation. So for tomorrow morning, again, slight chance of a shower thunderstorm from Norfolk down toward, uh, oh, I would say Crete. Morning temperatures in the lower 60s, lower 80s for highs tomorrow with sunshine. Our morning temperature will be around 62 degrees with clearing skies. Highs tomorrow, low to middle 80s. And then for the seven-day forecast, same deal for Monday, around 85. We'll warm to 87 on Tuesday. Really, the you know, best shot for any thunderstorm development will be on Wednesday evening into part of the overnight. And then that clears out, and we've got some very, very mild weather for the rest of the week, with temperatures even a little cooler, a little below normal for this time of year. Not looking for severe weather on Wednesday, but it's always a good idea to have Storm Shield in your cell phone should severe weather develop at any time during the rest of the summer months. You know, and I got to be honest, that rain that we had earlier this week, yes. I did not mind it. It rained all day, but it felt kind of nice. Yeah, I think we need it. The yards are a little dry. The farmers could probably use it to save on irrigation costs. We could use it a little bit more. We're looking at a deficit now of getting close to three inches for oh, wow. uh, the month of July. So we could use a little rain, a little more rain. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks so much, John. You bet. The impact alcohol has on diabetes and health officials hopes cigarettes will someday be less addictive. John Champion has the day's top health stories. The Food and Drug Administration wants to lower levels of nicotine in cigarettes to make them less addictive. FDA Commissioner Dr. Scott Gottlieb says the goal is to prevent hundreds of thousands of deaths from tobacco. With a balanced regulatory approach, we may be able to reach a day when the most harmful products are no longer capable of addicting our kids. Tobacco use is the leading cause of preventable disease and death in the U.S. New research on the donated brains of 111 former NFL players found 110 had chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE. That's the progressive degenerative brain disease that's been found in people with a history of repeated brain trauma. And people who drink three to four times per week are significantly less likely to develop diabetes than people who never drink. Researchers in Denmark say the biggest benefit was among people who drank a lot of red wine. They also warn that women who drink seven or more hard alcoholic drinks a week are at an increased risk. Those are some of the week's top health stories. Don Champion, CBS News, Dallas. President Donald Trump blasts Senate rules requiring 60 votes to overcome a filibuster in a series of tweets this morning. This comes a day after the GOP effort to repeal and replace Obamacare gets a devastating setback. That story just ahead.
Get clearance pricing during the Honda Summer Bration Sales Event at the Honda Giant Honda Cars of Bellevue, where it's all about you. For a limited time, get 0.9% up to 60 months on every new 2017 Accord, Accord Hybrid, Fit, HRV, and Civic. That's 0.9% for 60 months. When you want it all, get it all at the Honda Giant Honda Cars of Bellevue. One small step off Kennedy Freeway, one giant Honda savings store. When you think of Rebath, what comes to mind? Did you know that Rebath does the entire bathroom from start to finish? Way more than just the tub or shower area. Fixtures, tile, trim, sinks, faucets. If it's in the room, we do it. And with Rebath, there's no hassling with lots of different contractors and specialists. You deal with our people from beginning to end, and they build your beautiful new bathroom. Visit Rebath at MyHeartlandHome.com and get started today. When your air conditioner is underperforming, call the experts. Exarvin ARS has been Omaha Metro's heating, air conditioning, and plumbing experts. Professional and reliable, Exarvin ARS technicians are backed by our exceptional service guarantee, plus fast and friendly service. Improve performance and help prevent costly breakdowns with a $69 air conditioner system check. Call Exarbon ARS at 402-935-6000 or visit exarbonars.com. Heating, cooling, plumbing, ah, comfort. How do you want to live? As a decent person? Good husband. Is that it? Good? Of course not. King of the hill? Better. Top of your game? Win. All powerful. Like a boss. Like a pro. We couldn't agree more. We are professional grade. Step up to GMC with 17% below MSRP on specially equipped 2017 Sierra SLT models. That's nearly $11,000 on this Sierra. It started with Mrs. B, a little lady with a big dream, and a small shop that became America's largest home furnishing store. 80 years later, Mrs. B's commitment to low prices, large selection, and expert help, all under one roof, still lives on today. It's a store like no other. Dedicated to bringing you great value. Every time. And we wouldn't be here without you. Nebraska Furniture Mart. 80 years of savings, style, and selection. Come celebrate with us. Thanks, Mrs. B. Shop from our giant selection of new Hondas or pre-owned vehicles at hondacarsofbellevue.com. Brought to you by Omaha Marine Center. Sizzling summer new and used boat blowout going on now. The White House is preparing to welcome a new chief of staff Monday. And while President Trump had no official events today, he did weigh in on health care, Congress, and the stock market via Twitter. Brooke Silverbraga has more. President Trump wants Congress to give health care reform another try. Unless the Republican senators are total quitters, repeal and replace is not dead, he tweeted. Demand another vote before voting on any other bill. He also called on the Senate to abolish the 60-vote filibuster rule for passing bills. Republicans in the Senate will never win if they don't go to a 51-vote majority now, he wrote. They look like fools and are just wasting time. Trump will soon push his agenda with the help of a new chief of staff. I think actually going a different direction, hitting a reset button is a good thing. Reince Priebus is out. Homeland Security Secretary General John Kelly is in. Priebus made rookie mistake after rookie mistake. Author Chris Whipple has studied presidential chiefs of staff. He says Priebus didn't have enough authority to control White House personnel or tell the president hard truths. But he did have experience with Congress on Capitol Hill. Now, Kelly um, doesn't really know the Hill. Um, you know, generals have not done well in this position. Priebus says he'll stay on for two weeks to help Kelly with the transition. The White House also signaled the president will sign a new package of Russian sanctions Congress passed this week. Brooke Silva Braga for CBS News, New York. Elaine Duke has been named Acting Secretary of Homeland Security. She also served in high-level Homeland Security roles in two previous administrations. And in less than 24 hours, Nebraska football starts fall camp. A live report from Memorial Stadium and how Huskers are getting ready next in sports. My husband and I came to Omaha just weeks after we got married. We've had two beautiful, amazing children. As a parent, you feel like you need to be connected to know what's going on and how to help your children to make sure they have the best life possible. In the newsroom, I try to be the voice of parents out there. I try to think, what do I care about? What do moms and dads care about? And we try to make sure that we're connecting with them and that's a key to our newscast. And I invite people to tune in because we cover a lot of great stuff going on in Omaha. 
What's the worst part about moving? Other than moving? Downgrading your internet since CenturyLink doesn't offer the fastest speeds in every part of town. With Cox, you get access to the same fast internet speeds everywhere, no matter where you move. With CenturyLink, you're putting everything in their hands. Is that the kind of internet service you want? Visit cox.com slash challenge and see how the competition stacks up. Cox has the same fast internet speeds everywhere you move, starting at $29.99 a month with no contract. Go online and take the Cox Challenge today. Brand new Subarus for just $179 per month, plus get $500 in accessories only at Edwards Subaru. That's right. Choose a new Impreza, Legacy, Forester, Crosstrek, or Outback and take one home today for just $179 per month with $500 in accessories and three years of your scheduled maintenance included during the Subaru Celebration event at Edwards Subaru. Price, protection, peace of mind. It pays to cross the bridge. To Edwards Subaru, I-80 Lake Manoa exit Council Bluffs. Before I joined the first sea, the only sport I ever did was surfing channels. I used to get seeds and D's. Now I'm planning for a BA in history. I've learned a lot at the first tee. I even learned how to play golf. Put a golf club in a young person's hands and watch them grow. At the first tee, we instill values like confidence, judgment, respect, and integrity. Values they learn from golf, but take with them for the rest of their lives. Find out how you can get involved today. You each drive a Ford pickup, right? Yes, yes, sir. I'm gonna show you a next generation pickup. Awesome, let's do this. The bed is made of high strength steel, which is less susceptible to punctures than aluminum. The stronger, the better. And best of all, this new truck is actually... <laughs> oh, my. The current Chevy Silverado. It's the Chevy Summer Drive. Get 17% below MSRP on all Silverado 1500 LT pickups. That's over $8,200 on this Chevy Silverado. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. The 3 News Now Mobile Storm Tracker, sponsored by Jensen Tire and Auto. Now, your Omaha Sports Insider Report. Fall camp starts tomorrow morning for Nebraska. But first, it's fan day inside Memorial Stadium, and Omaha Sports Insider's Grace Yowl is live in Lincoln with more on how the Huskers are getting ready for cramp. Camp, hey Grace. Also at the Huskers shop, you can pick up this year's Hey Ben, we're here live at Fan Day in Memorial Stadium and as you can see behind me, the Nebraska faithful are lining up to get Mike Riley's autograph. It's also an exciting day for the players with today being the first day they report back to fall camp. I'm definitely ready to kind of get it kicking here for the fall and get ready for that first game for sure. Uh, I really embrace the new role and I've really enjoyed, you know, learning it, kind of getting to know the intricacies of the position. Definitely ready for camp here. Yeah, this summer was hard. We're gonna, we're definitely in good condition. The strength staff really, really push us this summer, so we'll be fine. We put in a lot of work in this off season, so I think we'll be ready to roll. We've been working our butt off since basically the day the season ended. I mean, any any time of the year, and it's it's football season right around the corner, and I mean everyone's going to be excited no matter what's happening. So I think everyone's excited to get to work. Fall camp starts bright and early tomorrow for Nebraska. Be sure to follow Omaha Sports Insider for more updates on the Huskers. Reporting live from Memorial Stadium, Grace Yow, Omaha Sports Insider. Thanks, Grace. And to hear more from Fan Day and to get ready for fall camp starting tomorrow, head to omahasportsinsider.com. It's powered by 3 News Now and AM 590 ESPN Omaha. And one Husker who won't be speaking at Fan Day, but will for sure have some large crowds waiting for an autograph is Nebraska's new starting quarterback, Tanner Lee. But this evening inside Memorial Stadium isn't Lee's first experience with Husker Nation. Fans had an eye on the junior signal caller before he even stepped on campus in Lincoln. I knew Nebraska was different before I got off the plane on my visit because I was, I hadn't, I've never been in Nebraska and I had already taken pictures with Husker fans before I even got there. So it was a uh, it, it, cool story. I mean, I, every day the fans, you know, shocked me in some way, just showing how impressive they are. And we continue our Big Ten team previews tonight with the reigning Western Division champs, Wisconsin. The Badgers won 11 games a year ago and fell just one touchdown shy of claiming the Big Ten title over Penn State. Wisconsin is now 21 and six in two seasons under head coach Paul Christ, and the Badger alum himself is hoping for even more success in 2017. I like this team and this group, and we've got a lot of guys that have played in a number of big games and, uh, and won a lot of them and, and have lost some of them. I think the biggest thing that we got to do is, is give ourselves the best chance each week because we know every game 
it is a great opportunity. The Big Ten West champs from a year ago returned 15 starters, including quarterback Alex Hornibrook, who gained valuable playing experience last season as a true freshman. Nebraska hosts Wisconsin October 7th inside Memorial Stadium. Meanwhile, the Royals are one of the hottest teams in baseball. After beating the Red Sox in the series opener last night at Fenway, KC has now won nine in a row and sits just two games behind the Indians for first place in the AL Central. We've been swinging the bats good right now, uh, putting a lot of jolts into some balls, and our pitching staff's been phenomenal. We've been doing a great job all year, uh, and you know they've been with us the entire year, throwing the ball fantastic, and, and our offense finally caught up to them. You know, I thought we played a really good ball game. You know, Moose came up big there with that huge at bat, um, and then really, and then put us ahead uh, where it gave us some some space to work. In game two of the weekend set out in Boston, just getting underway, the Royals sending Trevor Cahill to the bump tonight. Cahill is making his first start for Kansas City after being traded from San Diego earlier this week. We'll have highlights tonight at 10. And it's Christmas in July out at Warner Park tonight. The Chasers back home for the first of an eight game homestand and Omaha will be rocking some festive attire this evening. Not sure if the Santa hats will be included. First pitch is set for 705. We'll be right back. Omaha has an air quality problem. We spend more time in traffic, more time idling our cars, and more time driving. The summer sun cooks vehicle emissions, and then we have ugly air to breathe. Increased ground level ozone has costly consequences. More industry regulations, stricter pollution control if the ozone levels don't meet standards, and increased breathing issues. You can help. Take a little step once a week and make a big impact. Carpool, bike, use cleaner burning biofuels, take the bus. It all adds up to cleaner air. For ideas, go to littlestepsbigimpact.com. The world's greatest recipe, meat and fire. A simple combination that has now been mastered. You can't fake steak. Longhorn Steakhouse. Tonight's special firecrafted flavors. Try our new pepper-crusted New York strip, our outlaw ribeye, or a full rack of baby back ribs. And for lunch, try our Steakhouse burger or any Steakhouse lunch combo only at Longhorn. Long live the fearless, and long live the trucks with low leveling suspension to shoulder the weight. You connect with an 8.4 inch touchscreen and the superior ride and handling to help you go above and beyond. Get a great deal on America's longest lasting pickups during the Ram Summer Clearance Event. Right now, get 0% APR financing for 72 months on the 2017 Ram 1500. U.S. Cellular has unlimited data and got rid of hidden fees. Now's your turn. No, man! Go, go, go! Didn't we just get rid of that? Sure did, but activation fees pop up all the time. Again? Yep, every time you upgrade your phone. Why does this keep happening? Because you added a new line. And it looks like someone just got a new phone. That was me. Sorry, guys. Get iPhone 7 on us with no activation fees, only from U.S. Cellular. KMTV and Omaha area golf courses are teaming up to bring you divot deals. Visit the deals page on 3newsnow.com and save on your next golf outing. This week, save 50% on your next round at the Knolls. Visit 3newsnow.com to get your discounted round today. Every morning, more and more people are choosing to start their day with more real news. And at CBS This Morning, we just wanted to say thanks. A graphic protest took to the streets of Omaha today, people against circumcision. This 17-day protest started Tuesday in Minneapolis and is making its rounds. The nonprofit Bloodstained Men and their friends say infant circumcision is cruel and morally wrong, especially on those who cannot give consent for the operation. We wear bloodstained uh, uh, pants to symbolize the wound that we and millions of other American men have suffered as children. We are alone in the world. American doctors are the only doctors in the world who do this to newborn babies. The protest originated in California and is headed to Lincoln tomorrow. They are, they are touring Minnesota, Iowa, Nebraska, and the Dakotas. Journey for Papillion Church working to bring orphans from the Dominican Republic to the United States for an educational trip. Tonight, prayers have been answered. Grace Baptist Church brought $10,000 worth of plane tickets for the orphans to travel to Omaha, but the government denied their visas. After weeks of trying to get through the red tape, the children will be allowed to come to the United States. 
They had to get passports. We had to get the money raised for the plane tickets. We had to get escorts. Uh, we had to know what legal ramifications were on the Dominican side, what was going to happen on here. We had to worry about health insurance. So there was a lot of just footwork that had to get done. The children arrived tonight. We'll bring you more coverage on this heartwarming story on 3 News Now Sunday. The fanfare continues this evening down in Lincoln. It's a day dedicated to Husker football fans who waited for hours just to get in. Reporter Andrea Braswell is live at Memorial Stadium with all the hype. Hey guys, there's definitely some diehard fans out here today. People are lining up to get their autographs from Husker players and I'm going to step out so you can see they're right behind me. They're getting their helmets, jerseys, all kind of things signed by these Husker players. People of all ages lined up earlier today to meet Husker players and check out the new video board that's in the stadium. Fans say today it's like a pep rally for the start of Husker season. These diehard fans say this day is so special to them because they go hard for the Huskers and the Huskers get a chance today to show that love back. Fans say they are excited for the season ahead and expecting a lot of wins, even against difficult teams. I got two years ago I was here, I got the whole defensive secondary and the freshman class. And this year so I'm going to get this year's freshman and then the running backs. Some fans say they are participating in Fan Day. They have been participating in Fan Day for 20 years, and getting out here early was a must if you're trying to meet your favorite player. Now, later at 10, we'll wrap up Husker Fan Day and give you some fan predictions for this year. I'm reporting at Memorial Stadium, Andrea Braswell, 3 News Now. It's the final weekend of the 33rd annual Cornhusker State Games. Today, 16 different sports are in full swing, including archery, basketball, crossfit, skydiving, tennis, and as you can see here, pickleball. More than 10,000 people participated in the, in the events. Last weekend, folks competed in more than 40 different sports. And you may not be too familiar with pickleball, but it's a fast-growing sport here in Nebraska. It's kind of a combination of some other sports, uh, uh, you know, ping pong, uh, tennis, badminton. Uh, you play it on a court with the size of a badminton court. The Cornhusker games wrap up tomorrow with a series of 12 different sports. We are excited to share with you a new show here on 3 News Now. It's called Omaha Sunday Morning and is brought to you by the 3 News Now team and our content partners at the Omaha World Herald. As part of this show, we're working to highlight the people and places that make the heartland unique. Jennifer Griswold will be your host each week, covering a variety of topics from what's happening in your schools to community development and personal stories, too, featuring local people doing amazing things for their community. This week, one of our stories looks at the work being done right here in Nebraska to help save a species. And so if you see one of these and on the road, please move it off. However, you're not allowed to take it out of the wild. It is a uh, tier one species in the state of Nebraska, and it is protected from any exploitation. You can find this week's show online at 3newsnow.com under the Omaha Sunday Morning tab and on omaha.com. And tune in here next Sunday, August 6th at 7.30 a.m. for the debut of Omaha Sunday Morning. A one-of-a-kind program right here in the metro works to keep children safe and on track after difficult events. And how therapists are teaching students how to identify trauma-like symptoms in their peers that might help save their life. Where will the next generation of caregivers come from? Who trains them? Who mentors them? Who inspires them? At CHI Health, we believe in the power of education. As partners with Creighton University, we are advancing a new era of academic health care. We're researching and collaborating to bring more minds to every case, every patient, every day. We're giving the future of care a new home. CHI Health. Imagine that. Hey, follow me. This is panoramic Wi-Fi from Cox. It's a new kind of Wi-Fi that blasts super fast signal across your entire home no matter how many devices you throw at it. Bad puppy. And with powerful signal extenders, every room is covered. So, if you want your internet to be wall-to-wall -wall fast, get panoramic Wi-Fi with Cox High Speed Internet. How do you want to live? As a decent person? Good husband? Is that it? 
Good. Of course not. King of the hill? Better. Top of your game? Win. All powerful. Like a boss. Like a pro. We couldn't agree more. We are professional grade. Step up to GMC with 17% below MSRP on specially equipped 2017 Sierra SLT models. That's nearly $11,000 on this Sierra. Omaha, thanks for watching KMTV3. It started with Mrs. B, a little lady with a big dream, and a small shop that became America's largest home furnishing store. 80 years later, Mrs. B's commitment to low prices, large selection, and expert help all under one roof still lives on today. It's a store like no other, dedicated to bringing you great value every time. And we wouldn't be here without you. Nebraska Furniture Mart. 80 years of savings, style, and selection. Come celebrate with us. Happy anniversary. Save a life this summer with the American Red Cross at the 2017 Let It Bleed Blood Drive. Friday, August 4th at Mid-America Center in Baxter Arena. Rock out to Z92 and CD 105.9 with live music, free t-shirts, and concert videos. Let it bleed with the American Red Cross, Z92, CD 105.9, and KMTV3. Sign up now at redcrossblood.org and reserve your spot to save a life. Do it already. Starting a new school year can be tough for students and sometimes even more so if they've been through a traumatic event like a family member's death or car crash. A one-of-a-kind program funded by Project Harmony is seeing the warning signs in these kids and finding ways to keep them on the right track. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski takes us inside the Learning Center in our In the Classroom Back to School series. You could put that on a piece of paper and carry it around you on your first day of school so you have something positive to think of. The first day of school is still a few weeks away for these kids, but these lessons aren't about mathematics or history at Project Harmony. Or it could be, how do I respond differently when I'm upset? The Cognitive Behavioral Intervention for Trauma in School Program, or CBITS, allows therapists to help middle and high school students learn life skills to reduce trauma symptoms like anxiety, as well as build resiliency. You should do this before you do actual homework to help calm and relax you so you're able to mentally focus on your map. CBITS and Bounce Back have helped more than 400 students in the Omaha, Millard, Papillion La Vista, and Bellevue school districts K-12. through Teachers, counselors, and social workers identify students who are missing school, having anxiety, or having a hard time coping because of something that negatively impacted their lives. Some of the issues that it could be, it could be a death. Um, we find that the death of a parent, an incarceration of a parent, um, several moves that they have exhibited um, in a short time span, a car accident are some of the ones that are um, kind of prevalent. Um, deportation is another one that we kind of find as well. They're learning skills for life, using belly breathing to get in tune with their bodies, how to deal with stressful situations, and even talk about the traumatic event and the impact. At the earlier the intervention, it kind of, you can disrupt the displacement at a later age. We're trying to prevent these kids from becoming uh, wards of the state or in child protective custody or the juvenile justice programs. CBITS and Bounce Back will expand to all Omaha and Bellevue schools this year and train more people to help students in January 2018. And that will allow us to have a bigger pool and to serve many more schools. For In the Classroom, back to school, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now. If you have a student who may need help in school after a traumatic experience and they go to Omaha, Bellevue, Millard, Papillion, or La Vista, contact a school counselor or social worker and complete the referral process. And here's a live look at our Harris Cam perfect night for a patio. John has your weekend forecast coming up next. Command the road in a new 2017 Toyota Camry. Thanks to a NHTSA five-star overall safety rating and legendary reliability, peace of mind comes standard. And at such a great value, there's no wonder why Camry's been America's best-selling sedan for 15 years in a row. Tested, trusted Toyota. Get $3,000 customer cash on a new 2017 Camry or get 0% APR on a new Camry or 14 other Toyota models. Find yours at buyatoyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. And today's forecast calls for bouts of hell. Better get those cars indoors. Oh, come on! Uh-oh. Better get Mako. Come into Mako and take advantage of our nationwide warranty and quick turnaround. Mako, America's body shop.
You each drive a Ford pickup, right? Yes, yes sir. I'm gonna show you a next generation pickup. Awesome, let's do this. The bed is made of high strength steel, which is less susceptible to punctures than aluminum. The stronger, the better. And best of all, this new truck is actually <laughs> oh, my. the current Chevy Silverado. It's the Chevy Summer Drive. Get 17% below MSRP on all Silverado 1500 LT pickups. That's over $8,200 on this Chevy Silverado. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Think this guy ever worries about dandruff? Not anymore. Cell Some Blue targets the source of dandruff to relieve the itch and wipe out flakes for a healthy scalp and great looking hair. Try it. Cell Some Blue, freedom from dandruff. The Ford Summer Sales Event is in full swing. They are not listening to me. Watch this. Who wants ice cream? So that's how you get them to listen. Take on Summer Right with Ford, America's best-selling brand. Now with Summer's hottest offer. Get 0% for 72 months plus an additional 1000 on top of your trade-in. Or get 3500 cash back on a 2017 Escape. That's 3500 cash back. But hurry, offer ends soon. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. At the first tee, they are teaching us how to set goals. It doesn't matter how big or small they are. I want to break 80 someday. My goal is to go to college. Someday, I'm going to be the fourth female president of the United States. Mm, maybe fifth. Some of the best golf lessons have very little to do with golf. The life skills young people learn at the first tee stay with them long after they leave. Get involved in the first tee in your community today. One of my goals is to get on TV. Check. Omaha, thanks for watching KMTV3. Now, your weather alert forecast. Well, another day in the books here in the metro area, and it was a gorgeous day today. 85 degrees with a high. The average temperature is about 87. Comparable weather over the next several days. Precipitation, we're down about uh, two and uh, about three tenths, a little over that. Some locations even more than that, so we could use a little bit of rain. Gretna days, Sunday's forecast, partly cloudy skies. We'll see a few fair weather clouds by the afternoon, mostly sunny. Uh, up until uh, noontime, 77 degrees at noontime and 83 will be the afternoon temperature with the southeast breeze at 5 to 10. Maybe you want to hit the links tomorrow. 8 a.m. readings will be around 64, noontime 78. And uh, depending on when you're, where you're at, uh, we'll be around uh, 83 degrees at 3 o'clock. A lot of bikes are on the road today enjoying the mild weather and there's no reason why you can't tomorrow. There'll be a little bit of... Well, there's at least a slight chance of some shower activity to the northeast of us and maybe a few counties to the west of us to start the day on Sunday. By and large, though, it's not going to be quite as bad as what this particular model is indicating. We'll see a few fair weather clouds by the afternoon, but I think if you head up to the uh, north around I-90, you may encounter a shower, thunderstorm, and then in far western Nebraska, but around and close to the metro area, I think you'll be okay tomorrow to take the, uh, to take the bike out. And far as dew points, it's very pleasant out there across the area. Comfortable weather when you have dew points in the lower 60s and upper 50s. It'll, it's a little more humid off to the north and to the west of us, like around York and Wayne, where it's 71. As far as actual temperatures, great evening for your Saturday night plans. We'll be in the lower 80s to start things out, dropping through the lower 70s by around midnight. And this weather pattern looks to hold true for, well, at least looking at the long term. Let's venture out there for uh, 8 to 14 days, August 6th through the 12th. The uh, warmer air is going to be bottled up along the coastal sections, inner mountain regions. We've got cooler than normal weather uh, continuing through Nebraska and southward into the southern plains during that time frame. How cool? Well, very pleasant. So 85 on Monday, 87 on Tuesday. We do have a chance of some thunderstorms on Wednesday but mainly Wednesday evening into uh, part of the overnight hours, then that will clear out and we'll get another shot of uh, cooler air moving into the region. That could hold our temperatures into the lower 80s through Saturday, but we'll see some sunshine. Looks like beautiful uh, trend of weather here over the next seven days across the region. Hope you enjoy that. And uh, throw it to the desk now. Ma Concern, thanks John. Concerned parents in Dundee can breathe a little easier tonight the city isn't going to take down two school light crossings just yet. We have reaction from the neighborhood that says taking down the lights near Dundee Elementary is downright dangerous. The world's greatest recipe, meat and fire. 
A simple combination that has now been mastered. You can't fake steak. Longhorn Steakhouse. Tonight's special firecrafted flavors. Try our new pepper crusted New York strip, our outlaw ribeye, or a full rack of baby back ribs. And for lunch, try our steakhouse burger or any steakhouse lunch combo only at Longhorn. How do you want to live? As a decent person? Good husband. Is that it? Good? Of course not. King of the Hill? Better. Top of your game? Win. All powerful. Like a boss. Like a pro. We couldn't agree more. We are professional grade. Step up to GMC with 17% below MSRP on specially equipped 2017 Sierra SLT models. That's nearly $11,000 on this Sierra. It started with Mrs. B, a little lady with a big dream, and a small shop that became America's largest home furnishing store. 80 years later, Mrs. B's commitment to low prices, large selection, and expert help all under one roof still lives on today. It's a store like no other. Dedicated to bringing you great value. Every time. And we wouldn't be here without you. Nebraska Furniture Mart. 80 years of savings, style, and selection. Come, Come celebrate, celebrate with us. us. Thanks, Mrs. B. Long live the fearless. And long live the trucks with low leveling suspension to shoulder the weight. You connect with an 8.4 inch touch screen and the superior ride and handling to help you go above and beyond. Get a great deal on America's longest lasting pickups during the Ram Summer Clearance Event. Right now, get 0% APR financing for 72 months on the 2017 Ram 1500. Talk with your feet, play with heart at CHI Health's Victory Soccer Clinic. Free for boys and girls grades five through eight, Monday, August 7th at Creighton University. Registration required, visit chihealth.com slash victory soccer. On any given day, anything can happen. That's the beauty of morning television. This is your eye opener to this day. CBS This Morning, weekdays. It's a story where we first brought to you Tuesday night at 10. Concerned neighbors in Dundee sounded the alarm after the city posted signs saying the crosswalk traffic lights at 51st in Farnham and 52nd in Chicago would be removed. Dundee Elementary is nearby and kids use these crosswalks. Late Friday afternoon, Mayor Jean Stother ordered that the crossing signals will stay. Porter Miranda Christian has a reaction. The lights are back on at two crosswalks in the Dundee neighborhood. Those who live in the area fought to keep the signals operating. It was a real big deal in this area. I mean, it's the safety of our kids. Father Greg Murdoch was happy to hear the city will give the lights a second look. I'm thankful that the, you know, the powers that be in this situation, you know, listened. The city says a previous study showed that not enough people use the crosswalks and it didn't fit into the $35 million master plan to update all 1,000 traffic lights in the city. And I was kind of frustrated because like it keeps us safe. I was not very happy when we were getting rid of it because I mean, it just wouldn't be nicer not to have it there. The city says they're restudying these lights because of some of the nearby schools that are close to these crosswalks. I was unaware that Two of these signals were by elementary schools. Mayor Jean Stothert says there will be several studies done over the course of the year and they'll make sure to communicate with the neighborhood about that process. And I think it's important that they understand the process that we use, the guidelines that we use. I think they'll find that, that it gets used enough to warrant having it there. I'm it's good news for me. <laughs> The neighborhood will have time to get information on this process. The city will have to determine if the two lights fit within federal guidelines. Of course, we will keep you updated with what will happen over this next year. The study of these two crossing lights falls under the city's master plan to update all 1,000 traffic lights in the city. It was a subject of a special report by Miranda Christian last spring. It's a $35 million plan that relies on 85% of federal funding. The first 200 will be updated this year. And stay with us. We'll have a last look at your weekend forecast coming up after the break. You just saved a woman from being tortured. It's okay. I'm gonna take you home. I'd call that a good night's work. Hey, 
can run, but you can't hide. You make it back home. You make it back home to us. We got this. Go, go! During the summer's best sales event, you can do endless online research about the X-T5. Read all about the available cut and sewn leather interior, intuitive technology, and road trip worthy legroom. But really, there's nothing like experiencing it for yourself. You can drive a car or you can drive a Cadillac. Now during the summer's best sales event, get this low mileage lease on this Cadillac XT5 from around $389 per month. Visit Huber Cadillac, your Omaha area Cadillac dealer. Wouldn't it be great if you could just tell your remote what you want to watch instead of having to push a bunch of buttons? Cox's Contour TV voice remote lets you do this. Show me comedy horror movies. So easy, it's scary. Now let's try CenturyLink. Comedy movies, horror movies, any movie? CenturyLink is so last century. Take the Cox Challenge. Get a better bundle with Contour TV, up to 100 megs internet and phone. Just $89.99 a month with no contract. US Cellular has unlimited data and got rid of hidden fees. Now's your turn. Move it! Go, go, go! Didn't we just get rid of that? Sure did. But activation fees pop up all the time. Again? Yep, every time you upgrade your phone. Why does this keep happening? Because you added a new line. And it looks like someone just got a new phone. That was me. Sorry, guys. Get iPhone 7 on us with no activation fees, only from US Cellular. The 3 News Now Mobile Storm Tracker, Omaha's only mobile weather lab, keeping you safe in the storm. Sponsored by Jensen Tire and Auto, your tire and auto service experts, locally owned and family owned since 1973. Are you ready to embark on an exciting new career path? If so, Axarban ARS, one of the largest and fastest growing heating, cooling, and plumbing companies in the nation, is ready to speak with you. We have immediate openings for licensed plumbers, HVAC service technicians and installers, and in-home and in-store sales representatives. Excellent pay, comprehensive benefits package, company vehicles. What are you waiting for? Join our winning team. Call 402-331-1233 today or visit exarbonars.com to schedule an interview. Atlantic, thanks for watching KMTV3. You've heard of storm chasing in the Midwest, but how about eclipse chasing? That's what NASA will be doing. Scientists will actually be tracking the total solar eclipse on August 21st from the air in retrofitted jets. Telescopes on the jets will capture pictures of the event as the moon passes in front of the sun and darkens parts of the United States. They'll take off from Houston and follow it for seven minutes across Missouri, Illinois and Tennessee. Now, your weather alert team weekend forecast. Wouldn't that be a fun flight? It's the rise and shine forecast, uh, low to mid 60s over the course of the morning hours. And it's going to be another beautiful day tomorrow. Sun mixing with a few clouds heading into the afternoon. Southeast winds 5 to 10. We'll go from 77 to about uh, 84 by around 6 o'clock. All in all, a beautiful weekend. Great uh, finish to the weekend, yes. Thanks so much for that, John. Be sure to join us tonight at 10.